everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to angel love 333 hope everybody is doing fantastic getting ready here to do your all signs wow collective reading we're going to see what energy comes through for you in love there will be a free extended uh, there is no separate link it will just follow this reading and basically i will dive deeper into who you are connecting with here we're going to do what you don't see coming so thank you spirit what is it that you don't see coming all right oh Someone's feeling guilty here. Now, I always say take the roles how they resonate. Uh, you definitely have a guilt energy here. I feel pain from the damage that I have caused. So someone you are dealing with is feeling very, very guilty. Okay, there's some sort, there was a secret, okay? I haven't told you everything. So there could be either you found out some sort of secret or this person hid something from you. And that's why they're feeling very, very guilty. You have unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way that I planned. Neglected. I failed to give you what you need. You also have here space. I need more time to think. So definitely pick up somebody in your energy that there has been distance um, and it was a result of this person's actions. They didn't, they either lied or hid something. Um, it didn't go how they thought things would go. Bottom of the deck here, I'm going to say here, you also have here understanding. I see your side of the story. So that could tell me this is somebody who um, maybe in the past you didn't feel this person was supportive. It could be somebody who wasn't understanding of your feelings, but now they're seeing your side. Let's see what else comes through here for you. Got ascending. Okay, this is learning, expansion, mm, the snake. I failed to give you what you needed. Somebody who didn't act with good intentions, or it can be, you know, there could be another person that was involved here. Yep, I didn't expect to cause this heartbreak. Healing heart and camera missing you. you now I have to say right off the bat this is somebody where I feel things were definitely there was something toxic here about this connection or this is someone who betrayed you and lied about a third party strongly here but you also have your picture this is someone who's um, looking at your pictures missing you So they could be spying on you, really thinking a lot about you. So let's get into the tarot. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you share with the collective? What else does the collective need to know? Got the Empress, the Moon. Two of Wands. Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups, Tower, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups, bottom of the deck here you do have the ten of pentacles all right yeah i feel like um what's unexpected here is you're going to get some sort of communication from this person it shows me that with the page of cups 
and you have the tower. I also feel with this moon energy, something's going to be revealed to you. Now, it just could tell me this person's going to give you an apology because they did hide something. They were secretive. Maybe they didn't tell you the truth about something. But let's uh, start clarifying here. Let's start with that tower energy. Tell me more about this tower. Oh my gosh, there's the snake again. Third party. If, okay, this is going to be a specific message. Heartbreak. There's been distance here between you and this person. I feel like something happened here with a third party situation and I'm going to tell you third party can all it can be anybody it can be work friends situations in life that caused a breakup or it can definitely be a third party person where there was another love interest involved here what's interesting here since there has been distance between you and this that person whatever happened this tower and the empress here it i feel like you grew from this situation but it's interesting because the empress for me can also be the birth of something new could tell me something ended in the past and now there's an opportunity for some sort of new beginning because the ascending card is also preparing for union tell me more about this empress okay single not in a relationship no i feel like this is your energy here you've ascended since this connection since this relationship because there was some sort of breakup here right and then here you go you got silence and no contact so i feel like you've really worked on yourself uh, during this time of silence between you and this person okay there was something very unstable about this connection and it was because there was that interference now as i said here you do have the page of cups and you also have here the moon i'll just call it the strong signs pisces and cancerian tell me more about this moon energy Ooh, you got a crossroad and direction. This card wanted to come out. And you have the grass is greener and possibilities. So this person didn't give you what you needed because they were giving their time and energy to other things or other people in their life. See, and you got this, the, the storm here turmoil this person caused some sort of turmoil in your life now it could also tell me there was competition tell me more about this page of cups tell me more about this page of cups courage okay so they're gaining the courage here to contact you really is what i'm getting because bottom of the deck here you have dating they want to they want to contact you i'm going to say here too they may be, this is dating, meeting somebody new. They're, they're worried here that you are meeting somebody new and that you're dating, okay? Or that there is a new love in your life. Because I feel they may be seeing you, okay, as the empress, working on yourself, single, maybe uh, dating. Now, you do have uh, this two of wands and you also have here the ace of cups. The two of wands is somebody who is planning. They're thinking about the future, about the path ahead. And the Ace of Cups here tells me there's some sort of renewal, new start in love. Tell me more about this two of wands. Tell me more about this two of wands. Huh, player. Wow, not what it looks like. Someone you may have felt played by. Again, that snake keeps popping up. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. 
divine intervention, time for reflection. And you also have the signs and meanings. Okay. Got the mask, not showing true self. You are probably seeing signs and synchronicities. You may have seen them while you were with this person and since you have not been with this person. The Ace of Cups here tells me, all right, you're going to hear from this person. I feel like this is your crossroads. Your crossroads here because there is somebody who did not have good intentions, did not act in good intentions. Somebody you may have felt who was a player. You have a choice here. And I'm going to say here with, with the two of wands and the ace of cups, this is telling me that the universe here with this ace of cups, it's not just a new start in love. It's also a card of being patient and knowing that the universe is going to bring you the right person, the right one. That is also why you are seeing signs and, and synchronicities because you got the divine intervention. This says here, time for reflection. The universe really wanted you to have time to really think about what this person did and what it all means. Because this person definitely was somebody who didn't show their true self with you. That is definitely apparent with this snake energy. They broke your heart because they were someone who did not have good intentions. Now you have, um, you know, you do have healing heart here. You have the queen of wands and you also have the seven of pentacles. I definitely just to get this energy that you are investing in yourself. Some of you could have even been involved in a, 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 you know, a toxic, abusive relationship or even um, somebody who had addictions. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Yeah, see? Calling, hearing from them. See, they're very attracted to your energy, music inspiration they may even send you like uh some sort of music clip or something a text message yeah look at this bottom of the deck unfinished business unresolved situation they're going to come back around and they're going to try uh to make things good here tell me more about this seven of pentacles tell me more of this about this seven of pentacles heartbreak yeah, and toxicity, karmic relationship, competition, the other person. A lot of you, there was somebody else that you felt you had to compete with or there was another option here. You got a divine masculine. So this shows me that you've really taken time to invest in yourself. You're going to hear from this person. Some of you may actually just feel like, you know, I do feel things are unresolved. Some of you, this may help with your healing. But, um, you know, I just the picture alone shows me I feel like this person's coming around for the passion. We're going to, I'm going to, we're going to see because I'm going to ask what their intentions are. Now you do have uh, the reminiscing camera, three of cups and the nine of cups. Now it could be, you know. Anything's possible. Maybe this person's learned from their actions, but tell me more about this Three of Cups. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Change and transition. Oh my gosh, I just said it too. Look at that. Inner growth, change, and transition. There's a union here with that Three of Cups. A union, two people being happy. You have travel. It's also experiencing new things and divine timing. So it could tell me here that somebody's coming around. Maybe they have to, uh, grown a bit. It does tell me that this is someone that maybe, maybe it is the right timing for you and this person to come together. 
but what I would be very cautious here is this is someone who lied or was not honest in the past and I would say everybody's uh, situation is different so let's get into what they're thinking feeling their upcoming actions their intentions and we'll get some um, additional love messages from them what's this person thinking or feeling about you right now oh, my deck got turned around here uh three of wands eight of wands yeah see they want things to change they they're really seriously thinking about the future how to move uh get some movement here how to communicate but they're worried in their head. Nine of Swords. Hierophant. King of Wands. Knight of Cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. This person's worried. Got strong Taurus energy here. They're worried, and I also get here, this is someone who doesn't listen to their higher self. They could be worried that you're in another relationship. That's a possibility here, too. Their ego gets in the way. Knight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Well, they do see you as very giving. They feel at peace. Knight of Cups tells me they, they have feelings for you. That could be part of the worry here is that they know they need to express something to you. Bottom of the deck here, you do have judgment. They want to rekindle this connection. What's this person's upcoming actions towards you? Two of Swords. Queen of Wands. High Priestess. Devil, Ace of Swords, Page of Wands, Ten of Wands, King of Cups. Okay, Two of Pentacles. Well, their actions still feel unbalanced here, I have to be honest. They were secretive or not honest in the past. That has not changed with this person with the Devil energy. I do see communication here, but I also see um, there's emotional baggage with this person. That's why this person is secretive or not honest. What's this person's intentions coming towards you? Six of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Well, they want to they want to work on things. They want things to be more stable. Page of Cups, wanting to connect, communicate. Ace of Wands, the desire, the passions there. They want the opportunity for growth, opportunity to fix this, to make things right. King of Pentacles and the Wheel. Again, changing things to bring things to more stable level. Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck here as well. with temperance also feels like there's some sort of decision here some of you could be around commitment or marriage that could be here that could tell me that that it's going to take some time for this person to really commit if that was an issue with this person let's see what else uh, we get here what else uh, does this person want to say to you or is thinking You know, I just definitely get there's a strain here, this damage here in this connection. So it would be very, very cautious with this person because I feel like they're still bringing um, emotional baggage or burdens into this connection. Got, we need to let each other go. You came closer to, than anyone. That's why this person let you go is because you uh, got too close to them. That scared them. 
I am becoming a better person. Yeah, look, I'm not available. See, this is this person I feel is somebody who is emotionally, they've got that emotional baggage, very um, emotionally unavailable. Hmm. I'm afraid to contact you. I said it, right? I regret lying to you. Somebody who lied in the past. Um, but again, like I said, be very cautious with this person. Let's see what the potential is here. What's the potential outcome of the situation here? Hmm. You do have um, my jackpot energy, sudden wealth here, expectation, and occupation. I feel like the outcome here is really, you're going to have to set your boundaries with this person, okay? You're going to have to, I feel, be very clear with this person um, about what you want, okay? Because this person is going to continue in I'm just going to say their old ways their outdated thinking um, unless you are very clear to this person about what you expect okay I feel like if you do that there is definitely a big chance here that you're going to see the effort from this person but the other thing I'm seeing here you got family room and you also have here change The outcome here is that you're going to need to see the change within this person for things to move forward. Now you do have unexpected. This tells me that you may also, you got high honor here. There's something here too. You may find out some sort of truth here from this person. So I'm going to say for some of you, there is definitely opportunity for you and this person to work on this connection. I mean, we do see healing here. We see understanding. Um, you know, some of you, it's, I feel too expectation. I heard deal breakers. Some of you are going to have to decide, you know, certain things about this person. Is it a deal breaker for you or not? Can you forgive? Can you let go? Okay. I do feel there's an opportunity, you know, the occupation here. Now, some of you could just be, some of you work could have come, you know, this person could be a workaholic. Um, but there is some unexpected truth that's going to come out of this. And I feel like you could see some change here. But for you to feel safe with this family room, okay, and this expectation, I feel like this is really, you're going to need to, um, really protect yourself, stand up for yourself, and know that this person has to be very clear what your boundaries are and what your deal breakers are. You also have here a uh, gift. So I wouldn't be surprised if you even get a gift from this person. So, you know, as I say, you always need to listen to your intuition. I would I just would be very cautious now. The snake tells me and neglected. This person neglected you in the past. Um, and the unexpected outcome, you know, I do feel this person feels guilty and they didn't they didn't expect that things would get to the level that they are. Um, so the decision will be yours. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.